and welcome. Today I am going to play the Donetsk Airport game. It is a game uh, from the 45 issue of the Tactic, Tactics and Strategy magazine and it was released in the Battles of the 21st Century game series. So to play this game you need of course a magazine, but uh, you need uh, at last one copy of any of the games released in the Battle of 21st Century system because you will need the rules, tables and markers. So this is not a standalone game, uh, rather an expansion, but uh, uh, but uh, not not expansion that uh, needs any particular uh, part of the other game. You need uh, any any game of this system. Uh, any any is fine. There were two games released in the system so far: Battles of the Twenty First Century, which is core game, and. Uh, VOT 2025, which is a second game, and I, uh, as far as I know, more games are coming. So, uh, there, there was a couple other smaller games uh, for this system released in, this, uh, uh, in the previous issues of this magazine, and this is one of the uh, newest, so I am going to play it. There are two scenarios for this game. One is about uh, fights in 2014, and the other is about 2015. I'm going to play 2014 uh, scenario. Uh, it is pretty short, it covers only, only one day uh, of uh, combat. It has uh, five turns only because we are playing in the daily turns. Uh, and uh, it is pretty uh, small when you, uh, when, when you look at the board. There is a, a small, small board and only a few uh, counters on. There are Ukrainians and Russians and separatists together. And as for the battle itself, uh, Ukrainians are starting at any hex of the airport, while uh, Russians are starting on the any building hex of Donetsk uh, uh, part, which is called Kievsky region. And uh, as for additional stuff, uh, each side has artillery, but it is not an artillery which is set up anywhere on the board, but it is off-board artillery, and each side has a number of strength points of the artillery, that uh, he can use uh, to support his attack, defense, or perform uh, artillery attacks against the enemy. Uh, there are no uh, uh, reinforcements for Russians and separatists. Uh, there is a, a airborne platoon uh, uh, for Ukrainians, which is coming later in the game. So, that's all when it comes to the setup and stuff. As for victory conditions, Ukrainians gain one victory point for each uh, hex they control at the end of the uh, game, and Russians win if they manage to uh, destroy all the Ukrainian units. So, let us start. Uh, Russians are uh, player one. I think this is pretty obvious since they are attacking. So, let's uh, move our Russians. And what I'm going to do, one, one, two, three, four, one, that's what I'm going to attack, where I'm going to attack with these units, and one, 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 two, and they are going to move here. Uh, now, as for Russian tanks, I will move them here so they can support this combat. And that's all for the Ukrainian movement uh, uh, phase. And now uh, we are going to the next phase, which is counterattack. Uh, so Ukrainians are now allowed uh, to, uh, to counterattack with any of their units, but uh, there is a certain limitation uh, that uh, so you can't um, uh, launch any counterattacks with your units that are in the enemy zone of controls. So, for example, this stack or this uh, platoon cannot uh, ca counterattack because they are already engaged. Uh, so, I have only a platoon of T64 here, uh, so I can try to uh, attack Russians, but I don't think I will do it. Mm. No, I won't. So that's all for the uh, Ukrainian counterattack stuff. And now you know, we can launch Russian attacks. Okay, so let's start here. 
Uh, first of all, we have to check for the strength of the defenders. Uh, there is one uh, a strength point with this Ukrainian platoon. Uh, this uh, anti-tank team has no strength point points at all. Yeah, they can only uh, uh, use ATGMs to attack Russian tanks, but they they are literally uh, useless against uh, regular uh, units. So I have one against. Uh, two, four, and five. So I have one against five, it is uh, five to one, and now Russians are declaring to use four of, the, uh, of their artillery points, so they have nine. Uh, Ukrainians decide to use one, uh, so now it is six, so they have two, so it is nine against two, so it is four to one, now we have 5 to 1 because we have combat engineers here, uh, so it is uh, 3 to 1. And as for terrain, because they are defending in the control tower, and control tower is a building uh, which provides us plus 2. So we had uh, 4 to 1, 5 to 1 because of the combat engineers, and uh, 3 to 1, uh, sorry, 4 to 1, 3 to 1 because of the building. So it, so the final odds are 3 to 1. Now I can make a roll. Se it is 7. 7 in the 3 to 1 is B1. So defender has to retreat one hex. So they are moving here and Russians are now controlling control tower. <laughs> uh, so now I have to roll for the combat losses. There is a separate roll after each battle after each battle for each side uh, when to, to check uh, for the losses. And now uh, Russians have uh, 9, so it is uh, 6, 10 uh, verse. And now it is minus 2 because of the building, so it's uh, 2, 3 verse. A roll is 10. It is minus 1, so Ukrainians are suffering once, uh, 1 point loss. And now for Russians, uh, Russian losses, Ukrainians had 2 and plus 2 because of the building, so it's 6, 10 and 6, it is minus 1. So each side suffered 1 point loss. Uh, now, next we have this uh, combat to resolve. It is 1, 4, 4 plus 2 is 6 and 6 plus 2 is 8. So it's 8 against 1, so it's 8 to 1. Uh, Russians are calling for two more points of artillery support, so they have 10. And Ukrainians are calling for two points here, so they will have 6 minus 2 is uh, 4, so it is 3. Sorry, so it is 4. And now they have 3. So it is... Uh, it was 1, 4, 6, 8... 8 plus uh, 3 uh, is 11, 11 against 3, uh, 11 against 3 is uh, 3 to 1, and uh, 3 to 1, minus 1, minus 2 because of the building, it is 1 to 1. So let's make a roll, it is 1 to 1 and 9, so it is A1, so attacker has to retreat 1 hex. And now we have to roll for losses. Ukrainians had 9, so it is 610 plus 2 because of the building. It is 6020 verse. Russian losses 9, 6020 is 2. So two Russian units have to suffer. Uh, sorry, uh, Russian units have to suffer two point uh, losses. And now for Ukrainian losses, Russians had 11 and minus 2, so it's 4, 5 verse. 4, 5 and 9, it is minus 1, so Ukrainians are suffering 1 point loss. Okay, that's all for the Russian attacks, and now it's time for Ukrainians to go. Uh, what I'm going to do, first of all I'm going to fortify uh, these units that can fortify themselves, so they will fortify themselves here. This uh, ATGM unit moves here, 
because it will be uh, there are Russian tanks here, so it will be mo will make more sense to keep my anti-tank uh, units here. Now these snipers are going to fortify themselves in the new terminal. And uh, now these tanks are about to move. One, two, and now they are in the range of uh, attack. A fire of Russian tanks. Russians might fire at them. There is a 3 hex uh, range and on the 3 hex range they have four. Uh, they have strength of 4. So they may fire at, at them once with the strength of 4 and Ukrainian armor is 4. So it is 0. So I have a roll. Uh, I have to make a roll. 9 and uh, 0 verse in the fire combat 9 nothing so ukrainians are safe russians uh, fired so i'm marking them with, uh, with the, that they are fired once and now ukrainians are not firing back because they are in the building so it would be impossible to hit and also Ukrainian tanks are T-64, so they are weaker, they would have a strength of 2 on this range, so it would be virtually pointless to fire at these Russians. And I am moving here. And finally, my last action for Ukrainians would be to fortify this platoon in this old terminal. So that's all for uh, Russians, sorry, U Ukrainians. Now Russians might perform any counterattacks, but I don't think they can. So now Ukrainians are attacking here. Their tanks have a strength of three, and this infantry has a strength of one. So it is three to one. I am making a roll. It is five, a oh, pretty good roll. Five in the three to one is, let me check. B2. So Russians have to retreat two hexes. One, two. And Ukrainians are not. Uh, go, uh, they are not going to pursue it. They are staying where they are. And now losses. Uh, as for Russians, Ru so Russian losses, it is 10 in the role of, in the verse of 2 3, it is 1. So R Russians are suffering one loss. It was first platoon. And now Ukrainian losses, six, six in the verse of one is nothing. So that's all for the turn one uh, of, the, of the game, because in this game, we don't have to care about the supply. In some other games of this system, it would be pretty important to check if units are in supply in the range of their hit quarters and so, but this is a pretty small game, so we don't have to care about it now. So this concludes turn one. Okay, we are starting with turn two, and what I'm going to do with Russians. They will attack here, and now as for this part, I will enter my tanks, this hex, and now these ATGMs may fire at them. But no, wait, since this is uh, the, the adjacent hex, uh, they have to wait till the combat phase, but uh, these tanks uh, can fire at them. So uh, they have a firepower of uh, 4 on the range of 2 hexes and uh, these uh, Soviet T uh, Russian T-72s have uh, armor of 4. So I can fire once. 7. 7. Uh, where do I have my table? 7 on the strength of 0 is, is nothing. So this is a miss. And now this infant, these special forces go here, this infantry go here, and this infantry goes he here. This is a road, so they enter this hex. So that's all the uh, Russian movement. And now uh, let's go to the combat. First, I am attacking here, and I have two three and four so this is four 
and I will take uh, four strength points from my artillery, so I will have seven now, and I have eight here. I will place this counter to, to remember about it. So it is eight, and Ukrainians have one. I will take one point from, from my artillery for, to, to gain the support, and now I have two. It is eight to two, so it is four to one. 5 to 1, because I have a combat engineers, and now 4 to 1, because this is a fortification, and uh, this is a, there is a building here, and because uh, there is a building, I have uh, 3 to 1, 2 to 1, because building is plus 2, so it is uh, 2 to 1, let's make a roll, and 6, 6 in the 2 to 1, is b1 so defender has to retreat one hex so they are retreating here and russians are taking this hex now i have to make a roll for losses first uh, for uh, russian losses ukrainians had two and there was plus one because of the uh, fortification plus two because of the building so the total is ele uh, verse is 11 15 Let's make a roll. 9 in the 11-15 is 1. So Russians are suffering 1 point loss. And now Ukrainian losses. Uh, Russians had 8. So it is 6-10. Now minus 1 because of the fortification and minus 2 because of the building. So the verse 1. 7 in the verse of 1. No losses for Ukrainians. Okay, now here. First of all, these ATGMs. They are firing at these Russian tanks and uh, they have a strength of six uh, on the range of one hex and uh, they have and uh, Russian uh, tanks have an armor of four so I have plus two. Oh, good roll. Four on the plus two is two. So Russians are suffering two points lo loss and because of that their tanks are eliminated. <laughs> The, it, uh, the, so they are done, that was a good shot, and now uh, uh, Russian attack. I have one and four. Now let me check how many strength points they have. Uh, they have one and they have one, so it is two. These special forces also have one, so it is three. And I will take uh, three points uh, from this uh, uh, artillery, so I have now four, so they have six. And six, and now they have one only, because this ATGM unit has no strength points, so it is six to one. Ukrainians are taking one uh, point of artillery, so it is six to two, so it's three to one. Uh, two to one because of the fortification, 1 to 1, 1 to 2, uh, because of the buildings. So it is 1 to 2, not a very good odds. 6 in the 1 to 2 is A1. So attacker has to retreat 1 hex. No good. And now losses. Ukrainian, uh, sorry, first Ru Russian losses. Ukrainians had 2 and uh, it is plus one because of the fortification and plus two because of the building, so it's 1115. Five in 1115 is one. So it is one point loss for Russians. And because of that, this unit is eliminated. And now for uh, Ukrainian losses, uh, Russians had uh, six, and this is six, and we have minus one because of the building, Minus, sorry, minus one because of the fortification, minus two because of the of the buildings, so it is one and three. Oh, that was good, a good roll. Ukrainians are suffering one step, one point loss. So this is second platoon. It has only one point. Okay, that's all for Russians. Time for Ukrainians, and. Uh, I should move this counter. And Ukrainians uh, are gaining uh, this uh, airborne uh, platoon. This is their only 
reinforcement in this uh, game and now what they are going to do. So far they made it well here because they managed to drive Russians away. I will move these tanks right here and now this platoon is about to enter this hex while uh, this the other pl platoon here will fortify itself. I hope it will be enough. Uh, because these units are in fortifications, they don't have to attack. Uh, if uh, there are units on of both sides on the adjacent hexes, uh, uh, they have to attack. But uh, since they are in the fortifications, they don't have to. Okay, so uh, uh, Russians are not performing any counterattacks. Mm, well, they don't have to. And Ukrainians are not attacking. So this concludes turn two. We are starting with turn 3 and Russians are first, so what are they going to do? Hmm. Attacking here would be probably uh, pointless, Ukrainians are too strong, so I will leave this unit to protect this flank. And this special forces unit has 6 points, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and now these guys are about to leave this hex and enter this hex. They are moving here and there. And this platoon will fortify itself in this building. Okay, that's all for Russians uh, when it comes to their movement. And now I will launch uh, their attacks. First of all, if, if Ukrainians want to counterattack anywhere, no, I don't think so. So, uh, time for Russians to attack. They are fortified, so, so they don't have to attack. So, they are attacking. So, it is 2, 3 and 4. I will take 2 uh, points from uh, my artillery. So, I have 6 now. Let me mark it. So, it is 6 and they have 1. So, I will take 1 point from my artillery, uh, from Ukrainian artillery as well. Where is one? Where is one? Oh, wait there. Oh, I thought there is no one at all. So it is six uh, to two. So it is three to one. And uh, because of the combat engineers, it is four to one. Four to one, three to one because of the fortifications, two to one, one to one because of the buildings. So it is one to one. Oh, a bad roll. I think Russians have a bad luck with rolling in this uh, game. Then it is a1. So Russians have to retreat one hex. And uh, as you can see, this unit was a sniper. And if you attack a sniper, then your uh, losses are also higher. So uh, Ukrainians had two. So there's two. Plus one because of the building. Sorry, plus one because of the fortification. Plus two because of the... Mm, uh, buildings, uh, so it is 11.15, and also plus one because they are snipers. So uh, the total verse of losses will be 16.20. So let's make, oh, it is six. Sorry, it is six in the 16.20. It is one. Oh, okay. So uh, Russians are suffering one point loss. And Ukrainians, Russians had 6 and uh, minus 1 and minus 2, it is 1. 5 in the 1 is nothing. So Ukrainians are safe. Okay, it's time for Ukrainians to go. What are they going to do? Hmm. Getting uh, control over this building is tempting. I think I will make something like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I will try to launch my attack, uh, my attack here. First of all, uh, if Russians uh, want to perform any counterattacks, no. So uh, Ukrainians are attacking here. I won't be uh, won't be using these snipers. I will attack with these two groups only. So two, three, and these tanks have three. So it is six, six against one. 
so it is 6 to 1, uh, 6 to 1, 5 to 1 because of the fortification, uh, 4 to 1, 3 to 1 because of the building. So it is 3 to 1 and 7. 3 to 1 and 7 is b1. So defender has to retreat one hex. They are retreating into the control tower and Ukrainian infantry is moving here. Losses. Uh, Russians had one uh, and plus one and plus two, so it is 610. Ukrainian losses all are going to be high. It is two. Okay, that's that's bad. So Ukrainians are suffering two points loss. And Russian losses, Ukrainians had 6 and minus 2, so it is 1, 10, oh, almost, but Russians are safe. Okay, so this concludes turn 3. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's all. So we are moving into turn 4. Uh, so uh, Russians are not doing very well. Well, this is historically accurate, uh, actually, because... Uh, in the uh, 2014, where this scenario takes place, uh, they uh, perform a couple of attacks on this airport, but uh, failed with most of these, th these attacks. Well, as you can see here. Okay, uh, so what Russians can do now is... Hmm, it is problematic. Attacking uh, on this hex uh, uh, sounds like the best options for them. So, I will take all my Russian units, almost all of my Russian units, and launch my attack. It will be probably the last attack, uh, because uh, if I will suffer much losses, I won't be able to perform any more attacks. So, that's all. Uh, uh, the question is if Ukrainian wants, Ukrainians want to counterattack. No, they don't, they don't have to. So, uh, time for the Russian attack. It is one. two, three, and four. They are taking all the remaining artillery, so they have six. And Ukrainians. Ukrainians have one and <coughs> two, and three, two, and uh, two, so they have three. And uh, this is, uh, they are not going to use their artillery. So it is six against three, two to one. 3 to 1 because of the um, <coughs> of the combat engineers, 3 to 1, and 2 to 1, 1 to 1 because of the building. So it is 1 to 1 and 7. 1 to 1 and 7 is A1, so attacker has to retreat. If there would be 6, they would force Ukrainians to retreat, but well, they failed. So Ukrainians are taking this hex. And now losses. Uh, Russians had 6 and minus 2, so the verse is 2 3. 8 in the 2 3, it is nothing. And Ukrainians had 3 plus 2, it is 6 10. 7 in the 6 10 is 1. So uh, Russians are suffering 1 point loss. So this special forces unit is eliminated. And now Ukrainian uh, units uh, are moving. So I will fortify this control tower since I took it back and and I will move this uh, guys here and try to do something more bad things to Russians. Okay. So I have, uh, that's all for the uh, Ukrainian uh, movement. No Russian, uh, no Russian counterattacks uh, because all the Russian units here are in the enemy zone of control. So uh, this is uh, Ukrainian attack. I have two and two. So it is four. I will take my last artillery point. So I have five, five against one. It's five to one. It is clear terrain. So it is uh, five to one. Oh, hell. 5 to 1 and 8, it is B1. So Russians are retreating here, Ukrainians are taking 
this hex. And now uh, let's check for losses. Russians, uh, Ukrainians have five, uh, so it is four, uh, four, five verse. Nine in the four, five, it is minus one. So Russian platoon suffers one point loss. And uh, uh, now Ukrainian losses, it was one. Seven in one is nothing. So uh, this concludes uh, turn four. Now it's time to move into last turn. And uh, I think Russians are definitely losing this battle. Well, they don't have much uh, to do. They, uh, th uh, all their units uh, suffered uh, uh, heavy losses and they have only one point each. So they are not even strong enough to uh, make any serious attacks against the Ukrainians now. So all they can do is to fortify themselves. And they were literally pushed back almost at their starting positions with uh, no uh, any uh, serious uh, ter uh, ter terrain uh, points. So I think uh, I can uh, call it a day. Ukrainians, uh, uh, sorry, Russians are not uh, attacking and U Ukrainians, well, they don't have to attack either. All they wanted to do is to drive Russians away of the airport and they did. So this concludes this battle. It was well, like I said, historically accurate uh, battle. Uh, Russians uh, tried, uh, but utterly uh, they ult ultimately they failed. They managed to control over, uh, gain control over the control tower for some time, but they were dr uh, they were uh, dr driven away f by Ukrainians. So well, like I said, it was a pretty historically accurate battle. There is one more scenario for this game uh, in this uh, issue of the magazine about uh, fights in the 2015, and that's where Russians are well, quite uh, a bit stronger, and Ukrainians are a bit weaker, because it was the moment where Russians are gaining an advantage, and ultimately they managed to take control over the airport. But maybe I will play this other scenario someday. As for today, that's all. Thank you for watching.